Hello, trading is closed on August 25th, 2016. We had a MJT target for today of 2184.35. We kept down sharply and that took it off the table before the open. You have to use futures for the rule. Um, we closed futures yesterday at um, 2174.50. The open today was uh, 2169.50. Five point gap in the undesired direction doesn't mean the target won't print. It just means I'm no longer forecasting that it will. During the day, MJT gave an ultimate sell on a sell. The minimum price target was hit almost immediately, but we usually get more than the minimum, especially when it says the rally that came after it is a false move and we got more than the minimum. Here we had an ultimate sell signal. That's been satisfied. The uh, program also says that this upper blue line should print. It did. There's something in the book called the MJT plus three sell signal. And this is what it looks like. The rules are in my books. Um, MJT says this move will not stick. Gives us a target of 2175.61, most likely to print tomorrow. Futures are already trading at the equivalent of that price and higher, so it's tough to trade on that. Let's see what else we have. We have a gap down, a lower low, and an inability to hold any of these lows. This is a positive pattern unless we negate it. By promptly taking out these lows, ideally by gapping under them. If that doesn't happen, I look for higher prices at some time tomorrow. Um, I still don't know if this counts right, but if it is, and that's one, this is three waves up for A, three waves down for B. It isn't inconceivable we get three waves up for C. The long-term call is pretty much the same. We have a number of sell signals finishing early. I'd feel more comfortable if they finish for keeps, ideally by having one last fling up, ideally overtaking the year's highs. And if we move up, I'd look for this to print and for that to print too. There is somewhat of a catch here if that doesn't happen. We closed under the price of the FOMC announcement. So if we start to drop from here instead, we should have a drop. At, we should have a drop under this price by an amount greater than we traded over it. We traded over it by over 18 points. So we should trade down into the middle 2150s if we start dropping. That's a target, not a stop and reverse level. But for tomorrow, this is the price we have as a target, and if we don't invalidate this immediately, I think we could have a rally. I also have some indicators for timing, which calls for a change in trend here. So if we do rally, it could go well into September, to early September. And that's today's call.